Hey everyone and welcome back uh, as I'm discussing here astronomy on a shoestring. Uh, in this video I just want to touch base on this little idea here that I had which was uh, well it's a little plastic box sitting on the back of the scope up to the uh, uh, the diagonal here. Here's my focuser. My focuser can freely travel. I originally thought about using this to hold a mobile phone on top of the eyepiece by taking up all the weight of the iPhone, uh, in my case, but you might have an Android, sitting on top of the box flush so that it's pretty much flush with the top of the scope. And the idea is you lay the phone down, you position it nicely, maybe hold it down with a couple of elastic bands and photograph. Um, I might get around to doing that. In fact, what I want to show you to share with you today is another use for this little platform. And it relates to the fact that in my very uh, famous and cheap uh, telescope, of course, there's no real way to determine what angle you're using uh, or, or rotational angle and so forth. You know, there are no, no real refinements on this scope at all, except on this phone. This is an iPhone, a standard phone. And in the next part of this video, I'll show you a couple of apps that lets you measure angles very accurately in terms of up and down and left and right. So we'll do the altitude and the azimuth through apps on the phone. And by laying the phone flush with the axis of the scope, we'll be able to get some reasonable displacement measurements to help us uh, get around the sky. So that when we're looking at a star and we know a galaxy is five and a half degrees away this way, we might actually be able to measure those five and a half degrees. Okay, so here we're taking a look at the apps in the iPhone. And the first free app is the Compass. The Compass is very sensitive, seems to work really well. And uh, in fact, you can measure displacement with the Compass. Uh, you can just tap on the image, and as you rotate it slightly, it'll measure where you started to where you end up. So you can work out quite quickly uh, small uh, changes in, in rotational uh, displacement. The other app is the measuring app. Dig this one out of your utilities folder. This one is measuring inclination, angles, pivots, or rotations uh, around an axis on the phone. Uh, it's very, very sensitive, <clears throat> and um, it creates this kind of weird and wonderful display. You can actually use it to work out the difference between two measurements. However, this one appears in red, and that can cause problems if you're trying to work at night. I'll show you why. Now, as I say, using those apps with an iPhone in the dark outside looking at the stars, you perhaps don't want to do that. So you want to change the color of your phone so it's all in red. So here I'm showing you, basically you have to use the accessibility feature of your phone and drill into the display and text and then find uh, the color uh, filter button. Now, what I realized when I'm recording this uh, is that right now the screen should be presenting you with a red uh, visual of all the graphics on the phone, but it's not. That seems to be an artifact of the re screen recording feature. So th what I'll do is I'll add a video at the end, which actually shows me going live through the process on the phone and able to record uh, the color as it should be. Of course, you may want to control the brightness of your screen on an iPhone. You just change the display intensity. Uh, so that you're dimming it right down when you're outside, but it should all be red. So in the next part of this video, let's take a look at where that red comes from. We'll go to uh, accessible. Uh, we want to go to uh, display and texts. We want to go to color filters on. And it does go red. There you have it. Very nice and red. And of course, you can always dim the intensity for when you're outside. 